Hi and welcome back to the Batty.com channel. Today we're going to show you how to remove the trip monitor, also known as the DIC, also known as the Digital Information Center panel. Step one is to disconnect the battery. We're going to use a standard 5 16 inch battery wrench and we're going to disconnect the positive terminal. Okay, and we'll set that battery cable off to the side. The first step is to remove the two screws located here and here. Those are going to be a number two Phillips. We're going to pull the vent out and set it aside. Somebody's been in our car before. There's typically a 9 32 inch bolt located here. We'll remove that. Then we have two clips which are holding this plastic panel in place. The top clip's located here. The bottom clip is located here. And it's metal. We'll need to release both of those to remove the plastic panel. We'll pull the plastic panel forward. The metal clip will release. We'll maneuver that around the gear shift and pull it free. Here's the metal clip. Here's the plastic clip. The digital information center is held in by three screws. These are 9 30 seconds of an inch. They're located here and here and here. We'll go ahead and remove those. Next, we'll pull the panel out. We'll maneuver it around the trim on the right side. Next, we'll turn it over. We'll use a medium flat blade screwdriver and gently rock the connector back and forth. We're going to insert the flat blade screwdriver between the black connector and the white plastic tab that's holding it in place while we pull up on the connector. When the connector comes loose, we'll lift it away and set the digital information center aside. Here we have the digital information center, free of the wiring harness. My name is Brian Thompson, and I founded the website Batty.com, where you can find more free information and videos to fix Corvette electronics. You can also find the parts and tools you see us using in the videos. Thanks to your support, I'm proud to say that 10 Americans have jobs. Hi, friends. 20 years of experience can make these repairs look easier than they really are. But don't worry, we have your back. If you're not getting the results you see here, then stop and pack it up and send it to us. We have the parts, the tools, and the experience needed to do the job right. 